And welcome back. This is your man, Warrior. This is going to be another arena battle, but this time in ships. And this is kind of the same composition I've really been using this entire time. And uh, again, this is going to be a tear through of an arena team while I'm climbing. And I just kind of want to showcase the team and why I use it. But really the MVP on my team, the absolute MVP is Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Now I do not have Poe Dameron's X-Wing completely maxed out. In fact, I need to do all of his abilities. Uh, this one's at six it can go up two more and of course this one can go up one more and of course this one can go up uh, one more as well and plus 30 percent damage that is insane i haven't even done this yet um, and then of course his backup which i use him in this is deals bonus damage equal to 10 percent of targets max health now i have not put this on which i absolutely need and i have not done this so my poe is not hitting for his true potential but you'll see in this battle poe really makes very quick work of the opponent All right, now the first thing we'll do, and this is the thing, this is why I always use Biggs and TIE Fighter Pilot, or the TIE Advanced, is because the opponent always uses TIE Fighter Pilot. It seems like that's always the case. And I want to be able to have my way with the TIE Fighter Pilot without worrying about dodging. Even though the dodging has been nerfed, it's still a pain in the butt. We're going to go ahead and use Darth Vader Special. And we did get the ability block and turn meter reduction. Now we're going to do an AoE attack with my main capital ship and two others. And now we're going to do a double molly whop, bam, and whap, dead. And that was a waste for them. And we're going to go ahead and chew through that a little, target locking him. And we're going to target lock this ship and get him under full health. And now we're going to bring in Poe. Now Poe, like I said, is MVP. And I could target either ship, and I'm a, it's a guaranteed kill to the left. But I am going to try and take out Darth Vader with this shot. And I got him, and now the dramatic entrance, which is this thing where you get additional offense and additional turn meter and all of that, you get it again because it defeated an enemy while the buff was active. So pretty awesome. And I was going to bring in a reinforcement. Normally that always happens. They get at least one reinforcement in. Um, and it is a tank, so it's going to take a minute to kill this tank. But we're going to give everybody advantage, which is going to make sure I guaranteed crit. And we're going to be able to chew through this team really pretty quickly. They're going to heal, and that's okay. And let's go ahead and get rid of their TIE Fighter pilot. And we just got to finish. We'll do another dramatic shot. It didn't do much, but we're going to do a triple molly whop again. And hopefully these three shots is enough to take him out. Not quite because defense up is present. That makes a huge difference in ships with defense up. And I could have dispelled it, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish him off. Either way, you can see my initial three ships are the only three I needed except for one backup, which is Poe Dameron's X-Wing. He comes in, he does mad damage, and even when they have multiple tanks with defense up, I can chew right through it, and I don't even have all their abilities maxed out. I know there are a lot of ships, but Poe is is truly an MVP. I did a video on Admiral Akbar, and that's what I was using, and I had some Rebels. Uh, the issue with the Rebels is if somebody else has more reinforcement material and more omegas than you, there's a chance that they can use either the same team against you or they can use Admiral Akbar with Geonosians against you and you won't quite have enough firepower to win. Uh, down in my plumes, who's on my leaderboard, is phenomenal. He went all in quickly on the Geonosians, which was smart and he's got Admiral Akbar, and so I can beat him with my Rebels. I do have enough Omegas, but I know a lot of people on the leaderboard that are struggling to beat him, and he gets to stay in the top 10 because of it, because everybody's having a hard time with it. Um, I decided to go ahead and just recalculate a new team so I could showcase kind of a counter to the Geonosians, because everything is paper, rock, scissors now. Now, I'm fifth, he's fourth. He shouldn't get mad at all for me bumping him, because our payout, um, both are not until like 10 hours from now. So let's go ahead and show you 
So Grand Moff Tarkin is actually a direct counter to uh, Admiral Akbar. Uh, both of them have significant improved damage output, and my Grand Moff Tarkin isn't even, you know, fully maxed out. Uh, I have to still get this Imperial Assault up, that's what I'm working on, and his basic isn't. Uh, my Admiral Akbar is maxed out, just as down in my plumes has his Admiral Akbar maxed out. What we're actually gonna do is, we're just gonna move Sunfac into the front. We're gonna do a double tank situation, and we're gonna have Darth Vader come in from reinforcements. And then uh, the rest of them are basically tanky ships. That's kind of the strategy. Two tanks, one target locker, with a target locker coming in as reinforcement, and then the ability to have real tanky ships coming in. Um, honestly, Boba Fett could be replaced very easily with some other tanky ships, uh, such as Umbar and Starfighter. He's like the highest health and protection ship in there. There's just no taunt, and so other than that, um, but you can really kind of mix up who you have in the back. Just use tankier ships. All four in the background are kind of tanky with a double tank in the front. We're just going to go ahead and go right in. The idea is to basically weather the initial Geonosian storm and take them out strategically while delaying things until your ultimate. Uh, Grand Moff's ultimate now is truly an ultimate. When it goes off, if it's um, near max or max, it is spells complete doom for the opposing team. So we're going to target lock. We're going to go ahead and try and stun. There we go. That does disrupt the things that they're trying to accomplish. We're going to go ahead and do a double attack. Try and get an ability block on some of these fools. Got an expose on a couple. That's always good. And we need to bring in a reinforcement. And they do have a faster capital ship, so they get the first reinforcement. This is why you do a double tank situation. And then we're going to bring in the TIE Advance. TIE Advance from the backup puts three of those damage over times. That is kind of a big deal. We're going to go ahead and hit them again. And he dies as soon as he attempts to take his turn from the damage over times. And we're going to go ahead and hit the spy. Now he's going to go stealth, but the other two are already stealth, which is to their disadvantage. And that means I can then target whoever I want, which will end up being the soldier now because he came out of stealth. We're just going to keep working. You see how much Darth Vader can hit for. It's pretty awesome. And so we're just going to keep working on these ships. Got him out, and so we'll just keep going. We're going to put some offense up. Has a guaranteed crit. We're going to go ahead and put target lock, and let's hit him. That's 106,000 from Darth Vader. I don't know if you saw that, but that's sheer insanity, um, and that is one reason why Darth Vader coming in like that is just so crippling because I did lose bigs early on and it's Geonosians after all that's bound to happen but uh, we're gonna bring in another reinforcement we're just gonna bring in another Empire ship add a little protection on everybody and this should finish him off this one with a guaranteed advantage should be a decent hit 57,000 not too shabby so there you have it. I did lose one tank bigs, but that's kind of his point. And it's really easy with a team such as this to just walk through the Geonosians. I know when I use Admiral Akbar and the Rebels, I walk through all the other teams. But when I get to this specific team, it is difficult. It is really hard to beat and it comes down to the wire. And so for a little bit of that cushion i choose to use grand moff tarkin so anyway what are your thoughts what are the comps you're using leave them in the comments down below and keep your gaming on warrior out